is the base of Obsidian Dome located on Highway 395 in California's Eastern Sierras. It is accessible from a 2.7-mile dirt road. It is part of three volcanoes, Obsidian, Glass Creek, and Deadman Creek. According to tree records, they erupted about 672 years ago. The dome is about a mile in diameter and rises some 400 feet above the surrounding terrain. The volcanic activity began with initial phreatic, steam, explosions. Phreatic explosions are caused by the heating of groundwater and the intruding magma. The heated water expands and explodes, blowing steam and rocks into the air. The phreatic explosions are followed by pyroclastic eruptions which are explosive eruptions of magma, this type of volcanic activity produces obsidian, an igneous rock that occurs as a natural glass formed by the rapid cooling of viscous lava from volcanoes. Obsidian has a glassy luster and is slightly harder than window glass. Though obsidian is typically jet black in color, the presence of iron oxide produces red and brown varieties. And the inclusion of tiny gas bubbles may create a golden sheen. Other types with dark bands or mottling in gray, green, or yellow also can be found. The geologic story of this region does not end here. The three obsidian volcanoes are a part of a more complex system of volcanoes in the eastern Sierras that encircle a giant caldera that is known as Long Valley Caldera. Long Valley Caldera is a depression in eastern California that is adjacent to Mammoth Mountain. The valley is one of the Earth's largest calderas, measuring about 20 miles long, east-west, 11 miles wide, north-south, and up to 3,000 feet deep. It was formed 760,000 years ago when a very large eruption released hot ash. The eruption emptied the magma chamber under the area to the point of collapse. The second phase of the eruption released pyroclastic flows that burned and buried thousands of square miles. Ash from this eruption blanketed much of the western part of what is now the United States. Subsequent eruptions were confined within the caldera with extrusions of relatively hot volcanic rock 750,000 to 640,000 years ago as the caldera floor pushed upwards to form a resurgent dome followed by extrusions of cooler lava at 200,000 year intervals. Repeated eruptions on the southwest rim of the caldera 220,000 to 50,000 years ago formed Mammoth Mountain persistent earthquake and volcanic activity over the past four million years has formed the spectacular eastern Sierra landscape in the vicinity of Long Valley Caldera and the Mono Basin. Beginning about three million years ago, the Sierra Nevada and White Mountains fault systems became active with repeated fault movements gradually producing the impressive relief of the eastern Sierra Nevada and White Mountain escarpments that bound the northern Owens Valley Mono Basin region. This geologically recent volcanic activity, together with unrest in Long Valley Caldera that began in 1980 and the frequently felt earthquakes in the region, are reminders the processes that have sculpted the eastern Sierra landscape over the past four million years continue today. Volcanic eruptions or destructive earthquakes are infrequent and unpredictable events on human lifetime scale. Scientists know enough to say that future eruptions are more likely to occur somewhere along the Mono Inyo crater's volcanic chain than from within the caldera. The odds of an eruption comparable to magnitude 8 occurring in any given year along the chain are one in a few hundred. For the Long Valley caldera and Mammoth area, the most likely eruption is a lava fountaining eruption that builds a cone and feeds lava flows. The odds that a small eruption somewhere along the chain will have a significant impact on any specified place along the chain are roughly one in a thousand in a given year, all but three of the twenty or so eruptions over the past five thousand years at Long Valley Caldera have been explosive in nature. All have been small to moderate in scale. So what type of eruptions can we expect at Long Valley Caldera? Massive eruptions of the size that accompanied formation of Long Valley Caldera 760,000 years ago are extremely rare but could happen, 
none have occurred during the period of written human history. This type of transformation will reset the human history at least in this region of the earth. But there are other types of transformation that have occurred or can occur on the earth that will impact all life forms on the earth. 